Hi, this is Joey Smith at the University of West Georgia. Today we're going to learn how to import Excel files into the SAS environment, specifically SAS 9.3. We start off here with a set of data uh, that's based on jewelry sales, and the jewelry sales data is in Excel. And so what we want to do is we want to import the data and use it in SAS and we're going to calculate the mean sales and the mean disposable personal income for the same months uh, from 1993 all the way into 2004. And so the first thing that we do in SAS is we go through the import routine. We say file, import data. The first thing that comes up is an Excel worksheet, but there's lots of different kinds of worksheets that we can import. We can import an access file, uh, tab delimited or space delimited or uh, any other comma delimited text uh, and there's others as well. So we say next and we have to browse for the workbook and I've got my workbook in a file on my desktop called data. And So we browse to the desktop into my data file and select jewelry sales and click open and we have to select one of the workbooks and it just so happens that the workbook that I want to select is Jewelry Sales and DPI and Jewelry Sales and DPI is given in the second listing select next and I'm going to put it in my work directory this makes it a temporary file if we want to make it a permanent file we can stick it into a different library right now I don't have any permanent libraries created um, and so we're just going to stick it into the work directory and I'm going to call it jewelry so jewelry S uh, for jewelry sales next now this is optional you don't have to do this but what you can do is that you can save the code that SAS generates as it imports the data and you can take this code and put it into a program and rerun the import routine over and over again if you want to. Uh, one reason you might do this is if you're still editing the data, as you change the data in the Excel spreadsheet, you can re-import that, that same Excel spreadsheet into SAS just by rerunning the code. You don't have to go through this import routine. And so let's do that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this uh, file that we create import and it's going to be import.sas. Uh, and so we go back, I'm just going to put it in the same file, in our data file on the desktop. Now this is not the data set, this is a program. Uh, and this program just simply imports the data from Excel into SAS. And then when I hit finish, you see that it collected and imported 144 observations. We can look in the work directory and see that jewelry sales were imported. It imported a couple of additional columns along with it. Um, there's no data in those columns, so it's not a big deal. But we have the date, we have the sales, and we have disposable personal income. Okay, let's go back and look at the program that was created as part of this import routine. So we open, we're looking for that SAS program file called import. And this is what it looks like, proc import. The file that we created, it says the output file goes into work.jewelry sales. The dot jewelry sale or dot jewelry s is the file. Work is the directory in or the library in SAS that we put it into. Um, the data file that we used is located on my desktop. It's in the data folder, and the name of the file is jewelrysales.xls. Um, and it gives some additional details, like the range of the data. The range here is actually the, the sheet inside the, I mean the workbook inside the spreadsheet um, that we're pulling from. The get names option indicates that there's names in the first row, and that we want SAS to use the names that are in that first row. One thing to keep in mind is that if these names have spaces in the names, like if this said instead of just sales, suppose it said 
jewelry space sales, SAS would have inserted an underscore between those two because the SAS uh, names cannot have spaces in them. The labels can have space and later on we'll talk about the difference between a name and a label but uh, when you're using this data inside SAS you have to refer to it by its name not its label. Um, mixed is set to no. This indicates that there's no mixed data um, and the rest of these um, are uh, options that are produced by SAS and, and the use date, yes, will convert dates in the data set to dates in the SAS data set. Um, once we've imported this, we can then run a prop means or calculate the means for all values in the jewelry sales data set. So we can say prop means data equals jewelry s j e w e l r y s and run and this program here that we just used that SAS created will import the data directly from the spreadsheet and calculate the means for that data set and so let's run it Okay, we've calculated the means for 144 observations. It's got the mean sale date, which actually really doesn't have much of a meaning for us right now. It's got the media, uh, mean sales, standard deviation for sales, the minimum sales and the maximum sales for each one of the different months in our data set. And the same thing is true for disposable personal income. Now, as I said, there's 144 observations in here. Suppose we were to go back to the data set and add one more new observation at the bottom. Suppose we had January 2005 and let's copy that down. So we have January 2005 and just for argument's sake, say there were um, 2000 was our jewelry sales and the disposable personal income was $8,500 for that same period. If we rerun this, it's going to change the number of observations that we have in our data set to 144 to 145 observations. Remember we have the row at the very top that has our column names in that row. And so uh, there's 146 uh, rows here, but there's only 145 rows of data. And so if we rerun this, we first have to save the data and rerun. You can see now that there's 145 observations that we've slightly changed the standard deviation and the mean but the maximum and minimum are pretty much left unchanged because we did not put in values that were that extreme. And so this gives you an indication about how you can import an Excel spreadsheet into SAS and calculate the means of the data that's available inside that SAS data set. Thanks for listening.